गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज़ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एंड इन केस ऑफ दिस कंप्यूटर मेमोरी टूडे आई लिस्कस द टाइप्स ऑफ रॉम एज द प्रीवियस लेक्चर यू हैव कवर्ड द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रैम नाउ इन टूडेज सेशन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रोम विल बी डिस्कस्ड सो हैव अ लुक so first of all what do you mean by a rom as uh, you people know that uh, rom stands for read only memory uh, basically if you have uh, if you have uh, stored some of the uh, program within the memory then it cannot be erased or uh, so basically there are three types of memory and i'll tell you that in which type of memory you can erase the data and in which type of memory once you have programmed then you cannot uh, erase anything so rom stands for read only memory and uh, this memory basically uh, we can only read but we cannot write on it as the name uh, tells that we uh, we can only read the data okay so we cannot write on, uh, into it so this type of memory is basically non volatile so what do you mean by non volatile that this memory is basically permanent memory you cannot change anything so the information which is stored that is permanent and um, a rom stores such kind of instructions that are required to start a computer just like uh, uh, for example if you have if you have uh, the switched off or uh, if you have shut down your computer then uh, next time whenever you will start your computer then uh, every time you got the say you follow the same procedure to open your computer or the laptop so basically this is possible with the help of rom so this operation is referred basically as bootstrap also because your uh, in case of bootstrap uh, bootstrap uh, the basically you start your computer and uh, all the instructions which you have given in the read only memory that basically uh, basically works in case of that so now uh, in case of example uh, there is not only the example of uh, computer Uh, there is uh, some examples related to electronic items also like in case of was- washing machine and microwave oven J- just like in case of washing machine uh, there is uh, there is a option of timer so um, if you have selected or if you have rotated your timer or if you have set your timer for 5 minutes then uh, it will function your washing machine will function or uh, your washing machine will wash the clothes uh, for uh, for that particular time which you have set uh, on to that timer so this is possible only with the help of rom chip or rom memory so basically in case of rom uh, you have stored the functioning like what uh, you want to do with the help of that uh, washing machine so same uh, function is in uh, case of microwave oven just like you just set the timer like you, you want to boil something you want to cook something so uh, according to that you just set the time so this is possible with the help of rom so these are some of the example other than computer now come to the types of uh, rom so basically there are three types of rom the first one is p rom uh, which stands for programmable read only memory then the second type of rom is ep rom that means erasable programmable read only memory then the third type of rom that is double ep rom means erasable electrically uh, electrically erasable programmable read only memory so basically these three are the basic types of rom so uh, all the uh, different different types of rom works differently so let us have a look like uh, this is uh, basically one uh, picture related to rom so rom basically looks like uh, this image so first of all the first type of rom that is programmable read only memory so in case of programmable read only memory as you can check that once you have programmed something then you cannot erase some erase the data 
so that is known as programmable read only memory so p rom is read only memory as you know very well and uh, as it is a type of rom so that can be modified only once by a user means the user buys a blank p rom just like you buy a blank cd and uh, you just uh, write or uh, uh, program something onto that cd so so you can if it is not rewritable then you cannot change uh, uh, something into it so same in case of p rom also the user buys a blank p rom and enters the desired content uh, using this p rom program then inside the p rom chip there are small fuses which are burnt during programming which you want to program into that so it can be programmed only once it is not erasable that means in case of the p rom if uh, the manufacturer or if the programmer want to re uh, want to write something into that p rom into this uh, blank p rom then only uh, only on single time he can uh, program something or he can write some content into it so once it is programmed once once you have feed the data then you cannot make changes into it so that is known as p rom okay so in case of p rom only uh, only one single time you can write or you can program your p rom okay i think it is clear now the next type of uh, rom that is e p rom so e stands for erasable and p rom stands for programmable read only memory so as you have uh, added one word that is erasable that means you can erase uh, in this type of memory you can erase some content within this memory so what is the procedure basically ep rom can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light but within the duration of up to 40 minutes means in case of ep rom you can erase the data with the help of ultraviolet light okay i think this is clear that in case of ep rom you can erase the data but only with the help of ultraviolet light and only within the duration of up to 40 minutes okay so there are basically two limitation that uh, you can erase the data only up to 40 minutes and you can erase the data only with the help of ultraviolet light okay so uh, usually in case of ep rom eraser achieves this function and uh, during programming an electrical charge is trapped in an insulated gate region that means the charge is retained for more than 10 years because the charge has no leakage path so for erasing this data or um, ultraviolet light is passed through a quartz crystal window so this is basically one ep rom now the next type of rom that is double ep rom so this double e stands for electrically then e uh, next e uh, stands for erasable then p stands for programmable and rom stands for read only memory so as the name suggests that you are erasing the data but only with the help of electricity we not with the help of ultraviolet rays so uh, in case of double ep rom we can say that the double ep rom is a programmed and erased uh, electronically or electrically and it cannot erase or reprogrammed about 10000 times means you can erase the data only up to 10000 times so both erasing and programming takes about 4 to 10 milliseconds okay so in double ep rom any location can be selectively erased and programmed and uh, this double ep rom can be erased one byte at a time rather than erasing the entire chip hence the process uh, of this is reprogrammed and uh, this is flexible but it is very slow so this is uh, about double ep rom so hope you have understood that there are three types of uh, rom and uh, each type of rom have been discussed with you people so just have a look and uh, make some uh, notes from it 
सो थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक यू सो मच